Good evening, BookTube. This is Johnny. I thought I'd make a video. It is a Sunday night here in West Michigan, and uh, it is May the 20th, and uh, it is a Sunday night. It's a new week, a new week to, uh, to read. I would guess a lot of you are either in school or working. Uh, as far as myself, I am retired. I no longer am in the work world. I haven't worked since 2007. And uh, yeah, this August I'll be 66 years old. As you know, yesterday my wife and I celebrated our 39th wedding anniversary. So I've been thinking about life, thinking about the past, passing of time. Just absolutely amazing how the days go by. So tonight I wanted, I was thinking uh, last night after I made a video, I was uh, thinking about future videos and what I could make a video about. And one thing I was thinking about is that recently, just last couple, last week, this week, uh, the very... Uh, famous American writer Tom Wolfe died and I noticed that in the book uh, booktube world that I watch channels the only person that mentioned uh, the passing the death of Tom Wolfe was Steve Donahue and um, I have been reading Tom Wolfe since I was in high school since 1968 and well I haven't been reading him every single year but over the years I have uh, picked up his writings his novels his uh, social criticism and uh, and when I uh, started collecting uh, used books around 2009 when I would go to used book sales in thrift stores I start looking for the writings of Thomas Wolfe. I had certain things in my library as you know that one of my favorite books going back to my high school days when I was uh, in high school as you know I was into psychedelics and I was into, you know, mushrooms and musculine and the counter and the counterculture. But even then, when I was in high school, I was always a loner, and uh, I never really wasn't. I had girlfriends, but I didn't really have any friends per se. I was always kind of off in my own world, you know, reading books, going to the Richmond Public Library, walking in the woods hiking to Pacific Ocean and sleeping on the beach and I just kind of lived in my own little world but one of the books that I remember reading and I've read a couple times over the last many years is Tom Wolfe The Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test and this is about Ken Kesey and the Merry Pranksters and it's kind of, it's it's more like, um, it's not really a novel. It's kind of like what we call new journalism, where Tom Wolfe hangs out with the Merry Pranksters and the bus and Ken Casey and writes about that whole experience. Some of my favorite books. And so... Uh, so over the years, I've collected the writings of Tim, uh, Tom Wolfe. And I remember reading many years ago, watching the movie, The Right Stuff, which was made, which was based on a book by Tom Wolfe, The Right Stuff, which is about, uh, uh, it's about the, uh, astronauts there in Cape Canaveral and uh, it was really a great film and I read this so many years ago but I remember after I read it 
it kind of left an impression upon me as just a really a great book. So Tom Wolf wrote The Right Stuff. And then I read a couple of years ago, I don't know how many years ago, I read Tom Wolf's novel, The, Bonfire, the Bonfires of Vanities, which was also made into a movie uh, starring Tom Hanks. This is, I read this many years ago. This was first published in, oh, 1987. So I must have been in Texas, Houston, Texas, when I read this. So I read Tom Wolf, and then I got into his uh, social criticism. And this is the printed word. This is about, um, it says in the back of this, this is by Tom Wolfe, the printed word. This is about uh, literature, modernism, just different uh, articles that he wrote for journals and magazines. It says back here, the painted word may well be Tom Wolfe's most successful piece of social criticism to date. And then it says here, uh, Tom Wolfe defuncts the great American myth of the modern art and incandescent, hilarious, and devastating blast of painted word. It's kind of like he looks at modernism, modern art, and his critique of it, his his criticism of it. So, And then he wrote a book called From Bacchus to Our House, which is his essays on Modern Architect by Tom Wolfe. And then this is his novel. It's not a novel, it's kind of like an anthology of his prose writings, Hooking Up by Tom Wolfe. Uh, it says in the back here, in Hooking Up, Tom Wolfe ranges from coast to coast, observing the, quote, the lurid carnival actually taking place in the mightiest country on earth in the year 2000, into, quote, from teenage sexual manners and mores to fundamental changes and the way human beings now regard themselves thanks to the hot new fields of genetics, neuroscience, from his legendary profile, profile of William Shaw, editor of The New Yorker, to remarkable portrait of Bob Noyce, the man who invented Silicon Valley, Tom Wolfe, the master of reportage, and satire returns in vintage form. So these are different uh, I suppose, literary pieces and journals. And then he wrote a novel. This was a min mentioned by Tom, uh, Steve Donahue, Man in Full by Tom Wolfe. This is a novel. I have not read it. And this is another, The Purple Decades, A Reader by Tom Wolfe, which I also have in CD, Tom, Tom Wolfe Reading from his Purple Decades. I got this from the library used bookstore, The Book Nook. Sixty, six CDs of him reading from his anthology of writings, The Purple Decade. And then I have uh, Tom Wolfe's novel written in 2004. Notable book, The New York Times Book Review, I Am Charlotte Simmons. And then he wrote about the whole life in Miami, Back to the Blood by Tom Wolfe. Then I have a hardback edition, I Am Charlotte Simmons by Tom Wolfe. I haven't read these, but when I see at thrift stores or at used book sales the writings of Tom Wolfe, I always buy them. I don't have everything. But he has been one of my favorite writers since I read The Electric Kool Aid Acid Test and The Right Stuff. 
I don't remember my impression when I read that the bonfires of vanity when we lived in Houston, Texas a number of years ago, but it was made into a movie and I, I think I watched the movie. So yeah, check out the writings of Tom Wolfe, his essays, his prose, his novels, uh, his new journalism. So I just want to mention that because I haven't seen any videos mentioning that he wrote besides The Bonfires of Vanity and be besides The Man in Full, he wrote a lot of other stuff. He was a journalist, a re he rep a portage on American life, satire, social criticism. He wrote about literature, art, uh, all kinds of things. And he's very insightful and he's worth reading. So I wanted to mention that tonight. I, I mentioned I was going to get a new book in the mail. And I got in the mail today, Who Killed Hunter S. Thompson? Edited it with an introduction by Warren Henkel and by many of his closest friends and co-conspirators. As you, I've made videos over the last couple of years that I read Hunter S. Thompson, uh, Gonzo Journalism. You can call my videos Gonzo Videos. Uh, I just got this in the mail. I don't have this in my Hunter S. Thompson collection. But, uh, so I was reading this this evening and I got out to read tonight. I got this a couple of years ago. I think this came out in 2011. The Essential Writings of Hunter S. Thompson, Fear and Loathing at the Rolling Stones. Those who know about Hunter S. Thompson, he wrote for the Rolling Stones for a number of years and they put some of his best writings into this volume, which was edited by the uh, owner and uh, was edited by John, Jane uh, S. Wiener. So I was looking at this tonight, reading his uh, prose piece, The Campaign Trail, The Million Pound Shit Hammer, February the 3rd, 1972. So, yeah, when I was in 1972, I was at Mackinac, our, uh, Mackinac Island Liberal Arts College on Mackinac Island in Mi Upper Michigan in 1972. I was in my early 20s. I was studying uh, theater and drama, and I was thinking about becoming a Christian playwright or just getting working in the steel mill. I was chasing girls and speaking in tongues and reading I Ching and reading all kinds of stuff. And uh, after I went, the college closed and during this, the winter break in 1972-73, I was living in Upper Northern California in a Christian commune, about a couple hundred Jesus freaks. And I was just uh, praising Jesus. So today I wrote a lot in my diary. I don't know why, maybe I drank a lot of coffee today. I think I wrote in my 2018 diary, I wrote, I wrote a lot of Stuff. I wrote one, two, I wrote five pages. Of course, a lot of it is just quoting from, I read this most of the day today, uh, The Path of Christianity, The First Thousand Years by John Anthony McClucken. This is the first thousand years of of church history. This is really a great book. I don't know why I don't read it all the time. I got it out this morning and I read it almost until one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon today. It's just, it's just really a great book, really well written, very clear, very fascinating, this book. 
The Path of Christianity the First Thousand Years by John Anthony McCluckett. He is Eastern Orthodox. Uh, he teaches at uh, Union Theological Seminary, was professor of Banzanzine Christian Studies at Columbia University. He is an archpriest of the Romanian Orthodox Church. Really a great book. I really, and I plan to keep reading it. Uh, this week. So I want to talk about Tom Wolfe. I wanted to mention Hunter S. Thompson. Uh, Who Killed Hunter S. Thompson? This is uh, edited by War Warren Henkel, who was uh, early back in the 60s. He, re he, re he was a publisher of Ramparts, which was an uh, kind of subversive leftist political magazine that Hunter S. Thompson wrote for before he wrote for the Rolling Stones magazine. So that's it. It's 10.03 at night here in West Michigan. Yeah, I ended on page today in my 2018 diary, three, page 391. And all, oh, yeah, yesterday, today I also got, was reading the New York Times, uh, Sunday, May 20th, 2018 edition. There was a, a fascinating article in the New York Times magazine on the recent research using psychedelics, LSD, mushrooms to help people come over, overcome addiction to uh, tobacco, alcohol, helping people with uh, psychological problems. Really interesting article I was reading. There was a new book uh, published by this guy. His name is... His name is Michael Poland. P-O-L-L-A-N. He has a new book out that I have put in my box on Amazon where he talks about his experience with psychedelics and the current research that's going on, not only above ground, but underground. Very fascinating article. So yeah, on Sundays I look at the New York Times. I look at the... Uh, the New York Book Review. I didn't see anything today in the New York Book Review that was kind of interest me. The New York Times Book Review. I don't know. I didn't see anything that I would pre-order or want to read. There is on the cover here, uh, the last but not least, the last stories of William Trevor. I collect the writings of William Trevor. And I don't have his last stories, but I'll look for them. William Trevor, I think he's an Irish, an Irish writer or Scottish. I have a huge stack of his writings down the lower level. Have not read him, but I've been collecting him for a number of years. So I'll sign off. I'll download this video. I'm hoping you're having, you had a good weekend that you'll have a good new week. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the comments. And yeah, check out Thomas Wolfe. Check out Hunter S. Thompson and read this book, The Path of Christianity. So I'll sign off. Until next time, bye.